first ever female finalissima here at Wembley Stadium and it is 1-0 to the Lionesses. And so far, how are we feeling? What, what are we getting? Because we asked for a test, didn't we, right? Are we getting a test? It's a nice test, but I think that it's a test we're up to. I think Brazil are being quite resilient with their five at the back. You know, it's making it quite difficult for us. But like Emma's been saying in um, commentary, you know, we've been a bit patient. Yeah, we've given the ball away a couple of times. Um, and they could have broke on that. We'll show a bit of that. But in the main, I think we've been really good in the game. <coughs> played very well, played it quickly. Some nice cross-field passes. It's, it's been good. Nice goal as well. It involved quite a lot of the team. A good team goal, as, as Emma Hayes described it. What did you think, Karen? Really well taken goal. As you said, good build-up. Now, right, you mentioned the shape of, of Brazil. Back five, three in midfield and two up top. And in this instance, it's been a little bit difficult. I'm not, so, I'm not sure how many teams have played against a back five. And we're highlighting Lauren James on that right-hand side. The reason why they're playing a back five, Brazil, is because of our wide players and Hemp as well. They're both really good. And in this clip, we didn't really make Brazil move. It's quite easy for them. Our wide players are nice and wide, but not really causing a problem. Now, this is the goal. Now, James is a bit more narrow in that space. It means Lucy Bronze is pretty much a right winger. Coming into areas now where Brazil are kind of being pulled apart, and this is causing problems. Toon comes in, bounces up. Brazil are nowhere near. Look, and it's a brilliant finish and a great team goal. You no, know, James playing in the 10. Actually, it doesn't really matter because she can start out on the wide, in the wide areas, come into that pocket. Because Lucy is, you know, plays so right high winger. in the play, she ends up in that 10 anyway. So it's actually a really good example there mm. of how fluid the formation can be, particularly when you're playing against a sort of quite a solid back five. You know, the only thing with the, with the left side, obviously Jess, Part Jess Carter is so good with the one-on-one -on -one defending. We've seen it a couple of times, but we're not then getting the same kind of relationship, relationship yeah. with her and Lauren Emp. So it's making it very difficult for Lauren Emp. Less, Ella Toon's come across a couple of times, but at the same time, we do need to activate this left side as well. You mentioned fluidity there. Let's talk a little bit more, Karen, about the fact that you've got uh, Lauren James jumping into that or dropping into that number 10 row a little bit and Lucy Bronze playing a little bit higher. Yeah, Lauren's inside, Lucy's on the outside, and sometimes they reverse it as well, and defenders don't know what they're doing for England. Lucy as well, what, one thing to note, she makes the inverted run. You know, it's a really, really difficult run to pick up. You know, Lucy is, you know, she's straight lines, but once she makes that inverted run inside, it causes so much problems uh, for, the, for the other team. Righty, where do England need to be careful? Um, like we saw here with the USA is when we... Those things are the kind of things that we... Sloppiness. To a certain extent. Yeah, guard against complacency. Absolutely, yeah. OK, guys, well, the second half is coming right up. And Serena Vigelman will be quite pleased, hopefully, with what she's seen so far, because her team are 1-0 up in the first female finalissima. Been eventful, 